Frank Sinatra die was zot op Venusschelpen. En de beste Venusschelpen, raar maar waar, vind je op een uurtje rijden nog maar van New York hier op Long Island. So Eddie, how are we going to catch the clams? Uh, what we're going to do with this small boat is we're just going to run it up into real shallow water, like six inches, eight inches of water, and then you kneel in, on the bottom and you lean over the side, and you just finger tread. We call it. You just put your hands in the mud, and you can feel the. When you come on a clam, you'll feel it. It'll feel like a golf ball or a baseball. Okay. Because there are no rocks here. It's all soft bottom. So when you hit something hard, you're going to have a clam. Just run your hand. You're touching the bottom? Yeah, I touch the bottom. Okay. Ah, you got one. Yeah, I got one. Look at that. All right. A black one. There we go. That's a, that's a big one. Yeah. Okay. There you go. They're really deep in the mud. I keep on clamming. Yep. I have a, this is a big one. Watch out, it doesn't pull you in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. They're fat like that, and that's full of meat. And all clams in this water, they're like nowhere else. Our bottom is so rich and good and filling for them. Yeah. So that you look at a normal clam anywhere else, they're almost flat. They yeah. don't have that that's big true. bubble in that's them. That's true. And all clams, that's all meat. Look at that one. That's a beauty. Yeah. Um, now, now we're talking business. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie neemt me mee naar zijn beehouse dat hij huurt met zijn vriend Richie. Het huis heeft een unieke ligging, middenin een schitterend natuurpark. Ze willen me trakteren op een traditionele maaltijd, Klemstoe, een stoofpot van Venusschelpen. Another successful day of clams. Yeah. Catch of a day. Wow, you got all those clams. <laughs> okay, and what is this? This is my own creation, a clam opener. It sort of looks like a guillotine. Right? Yeah. You know? Let's so start. We start off with 36 clams. Can I help you take out the meat? Sure. Can we keep the juice? Oh, the juice is the most important part. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the juice in this pitcher. Yes. All the impurities can settle to the bottom and we can just have pure juice when we pour it into the pot. This is the basis of the this, of this stew. This is the broth. This is the broth. This yeah. is what makes it taste so delicious. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's great. Als vetstof voor het gerecht gebruikt Richie gesmolten varkensvet. Oh, this is the pork fat. This is the what gives it the richness. We're going to now build our dish. Okay. Which requires making layers of potatoes and onions. So if you would slice those potatoes and onions, I really like that. <laughs> no problem. De braadpot wordt laag per laag opgebouwd. Eerst schijfjes aardappelen, dan de uien en kruiden met peper. Daarna nog een paar laagjes. Daar rieten ze het sap van de schelpen over. Er wordt niet bijgekruid met zout, want er zitten al natuurlijke zouten van de venusschelpen in het gerecht. De pot mag een uur lang op het vuur pruttelen. Ondertussen spoelen ze het vlees van de schelpen. Na een uur mag het vlees heel kort bij de rest van de ingrediënten. They just need to get cooked through. If you cook them too much, they get tough. Yeah, yes. rubbery. Yeah, so you want to just let them. Just let them get nicely cooked. Een paar minuten later is het feest. Looks great. It smells great. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. This is actually very good. Mm. Mm, I love it. It's basic food, but that kind of style I love the most. En dan volgt een bedenking van Richie met een diepe grond van waarheid. Just to think, who was the first person that ate a clam or an oyster? Right. What ever possessed somebody to open one of those things up and eat it? Right? There's a real brave soul. Yeah. <laughs> een 